uh, stepping into this game. I know that we just need to come out. Uh, we need to execute on offense. The defense needs to do a good job on stopping them. They have really good offense, but they have really good defense like they always do. So we just need to put a bunch of points on the board and just do our job. Uh, last year it was a 17-15 game at their place. It was really a key game for you guys in terms of your quest to win the victory belt. Uh, so it's kind of a, kind of a budding rivalry, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that makes this such a good game and it makes these teams so comparable, I guess, when it comes to what you guys do on the football field? We, we both have really good coaching. Dwanger and Homestead both have really good coaches. And they always, we always have athletes and they always have athletes. So uh, both teams are always really good. So it's always a competition each year, seeing uh, who, who can come out harder and play harder. So uh, it's a good competition, but uh, I think we're going to take them this year. Because of the week one game, I mean, you guys didn't have your full complement of guys, but because of, of a loss in week one, do you feel like maybe people are, are overlooking you guys a little bit? And, and if so, how does that motivate you, especially for a game like this? Yeah, a loss early this year was definitely tough. We had a lot of goals that we wanted to reach, and the loss this year kind of set us back. But um, the, fir the loss this year, I think, doesn't really mean anything. It was the first game of the year. We were missing people. Uh, we still have the rest of the season to go, so I think we can still reach our goals. But uh, with this game this week, after losing, we can't really afford to lose again, so we got to come out and win this week. What is the coaching staff really harping on and really stressing this week to get ready for Friday night? What are some of the keys that they're really kind of uh, making sure that you guys are coached up on? Just doing our job. You know, there's 11 people out on the field on offense or defense at once, so just doing your job and fighting for each other and just making sure that you're doing everything you can to uh, succeed. Final question, what are you most looking forward to about this coming Friday? Uh, scoring a lot of touchdowns. That's what I'm looking forward to. Um, our goal is just to go 1-0 every play. You know, practice like it's our last practice because, you know, it, it definitely could be. So uh, just go 1-0 every play and uh, practice every rep like it's our last pretty much. What do you take away from last year's game against Bishop Dwayne? It was a good one. It was 17-15. Uh, you guys won at their place. What do you remember from that? How do you apply it this time around? Um, I remember it just being a physical game, you know, a hard-nosed game and uh, a lot of defense being played. So, uh, you know, just kind of want I remember it being fun and just remember the crowd really being in it. So um, just excited for the game coming up. What has the coaching staff been stressing this week to get ready for what Bishop Dwenger presents, specifically their offense versus your defense? Um, Dwenger is a hard-nosed team. As I said before, they like to run the ball, so we're really um, practicing against the run and just, you know, trying to go 1-0 and every play pretty much. Obviously, you know, week one didn't go as you wanted, um, but you had some guys out. So given that fact, do you feel like people are maybe underestimating this Homestead team because you guys have that loss already on your record? Um, I mean, that's kind of our mentality. We know we're at a disadvantage, you know, having lost a game already. And our goal is to get the victory bell and to win the SAC. So uh, we're coming from, uh, you know, being losing our first game. So we're just here to battle back and bounce back. Final question, what are you most looking forward to about this Friday night and this Friday night's matchup? Just having fun and playing, playing football with my brothers. That's it.